up? This is Ron Norris. I'm an artist here in San Francisco. If you've seen any of my murals, you know that there's a blue bear in there. Today, what I wanna do is I wanna teach you how to draw my blue bear. All you're gonna need is you're gonna need a piece of paper, you're gonna need a pencil, and you're gonna need an ink pen, and then you should be ready to go. All right, let's do this. Hello, everyone. All right, let's get started. First thing that we're gonna do is we are going to draw a circle. Now, this circle that we're about to draw, uh, this circle needs to be very light. Now, I'm gonna draw with this red color because I want this circle to be so light, very, very light, because what it comes down to it is that you have an ink pen and that's how you present your art to the world, not this pencil. This pencil should be something that you should be free with, you should be able to make mistakes, um, you should just be relaxed when you use a pencil. But if you draw dark, then it's hard to come back from those mistakes because it's just kind of imprinted in the paper and you won't be able to tell the difference between your pencil and your pen. So give me a nice dark circle, or I mean a nice light circle, oh. sorry, right here. Um, now what I want to do is, I want to draw my blue bear, but I want to draw my blue bear in three quarter perspective. So that means head slightly turned. Um, so that means that uh, one eye is going to be closer than the other, and it's going to have a little bit of perspective. So what I want to do is I want to trick myself that this flat circle right here actually is not flat. It is actually right now. So I'm gonna make this curve right here. Let me clean it up a little bit. What that does is now starts to create this illusion that this circle is not so flat. Uh, now I'm gonna make another circle or a line here. This line is gonna go with this circle. This is going to be the eye line of the character. So I'm gonna make the eye line. That line is exactly where I want my bear's eye. So he's kind of looking a little bit up. So now we have this little circle, and now this circle actually looks like it has some kind of depth and uh, shape to it. What I'm gonna do is my bear kind of has a little bit of contour to his face, so I'm gonna go ahead right here, and I'm gonna make this little dash down here like that. And he, of course, has this little kind of thing that comes out at the side too, so I'm gonna kind of make this little move right there. So we should be all good. Okay, when I draw my bear, the first move that I make always is the nose. So we know that our eye line is gonna be right here. This area right here is our kind of cheeks that come out from our bear, so it would be perfect to kind of hit our nose right there. Okay, now right underneath my bear's nose, we always have a little line. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. Now I talked about this before. Uh, this is three quarter perspective. So that means one eye is closer to us than the other eye. So that means that this eye is going to be bigger. I'm just gonna make a circle right now. Kind of a little bit of the oval. And then I'm gonna make one that is smaller right next to it. All right, now um, I always like uh, to put a little bit of a brow in these eyes here. Um, I like to always put my pupils close to the edge, but not on the edge. Um, I'm gonna put them right here. So I like my characters to be kind of almost cross-eyed, but not. I think that when you put your pupils close to the edge, but not on the edge, I feel like they have a little bit more life to them, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of a highlight in my nose. I like that, it kinda adds a little bit of balance. Now, I'm gonna do one big ear, because this ear is, of course, closer to me, and then I'm gonna do one small ear, because this ear is further away. Now, right now, my dude could be looking awfully sad, but I'm not gonna do that. What I wanna do is, I wanna do it happy, because we have enough sad things going on right now in our lives, so I'm gonna make happy. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna make this dude really happy. I'm gonna come and kind of come real close to my nose. You wanna make sure that that mouth isn't far away from that nose, because the nose is so big. So I'm gonna make a nice smiley face. We've been doing these smiley faces since we were children. That shouldn't be hard for anyone. Um, I'm actually gonna kind of bend it a little bit closer. I really like it close to the nose. I really like it close to the nose. I have a long brush there. I am going to open this mouth right here. Show a little teeth, and of course, a little tongue. 
you can go crazy and do that if you want, um, or you can just keep it simple. Okay, so now we have our happy bear. I feel that's an awfully high smile. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that that high smile makes sense. So what I wanna do is I know that that smile is gonna push up those cheeks and it's gonna push up that bottom eyelid. So I really wanna kinda of put those bottom eyelids covered up there to kinda of really make that brow thing, um, the high cheek smile make sense. Okay, now this is what I wanna do. All the information that I need is now down on the piece of paper. Um, all the hard work is done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my color because now this is an opportunity to really kind of refine your drawing. This is when you grab your ink pen. Now I'm gonna go get myself uh, on a fresh layer. Um, hopefully you drew very light. I'm going to uh, open up this layer right here and I am going to start to refine this character. I'm gonna start out with drawing this black line, get this nice big shapes done first, which is the, no the nose. This is gonna be a big black area. Uh, I suggest you grab a bigger marker to kind of fill in an area like this, um, just so it doesn't take forever, especially if you're using like a small ink pen. You're gonna need to kind of have a small fine point ink pen when you do this kind of stuff, just because, uh, you know, cartoons aren't really drawn all that big. So you wanna be able to kind of draw nuanced things and little small little lines and stuff like that. So you wanna to try to have a series of, of, of markers from different sizes so you can kind of uh, be a little bit more efficient um, with your drawing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes. Now I brought those bottom eyelids up. So I'm gonna bring those bottom eyelids up. So it's gonna kind of obstruct the eye. I like to actually draw the eye first and then actually start to bring the features of the eye over top so it looks a little bit more realistic. Go ahead and get that in there. Okay, now. What I wanna do is the eyes. I actually kind of have a little bit of these eyes kind of covered up um, from my bottom eyelid. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my pupils in there. I always have like the light blue eyes in my bear just because I like the idea of having it, um, uh, just that light in his eyes just uh, really makes them a lot more attractive. So I always make sure that I have um, of that space in the eyes to kind of put that blue. I always like to do highlights inside the eyes just because it's all about balance. You know, you look at the eyeball and you see the blue in the eye and then it goes straight to that white dot and then it goes straight to that white highlight in the nose. So it's all about balance. When they look at your character, you need to look at the whole character, not just some object that kind of stands out. So it asks the viewer to look at everything. So I like those highlights. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead with the smile, got that high smile. Could probably amp that up a little bit. Now, I like to kind of overshoot my lines, especially when I'm inking, but only when I'm inking on the computer, um, because the computer has recourse. Uh, when you're drawing, you'd be spending on paper, you'd spend a lot of time erasing. So uh, uh, ignore my overshooting lines. It's just how I tend to draw on the computer. Um, I am going to kind of come down here and give myself a mouth here. I'm gonna kind of shorten the teeth a little bit, not that much. And I'm gonna give myself a nice tongue right here. This is a nice big black area, so this is the time where you get your, your nice uh, 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 black, thick black marker and get all that in there. All right, now I like to kind of just as a sense of style, I always have this kind of like little line that goes over top of my eyes and then I kind of have it kind of the head and then it goes back up again for the brow. Don't ask me why, just like that. I'm gonna kind of come out with my cheeks. Um, this one's gonna be pointy because it's three quarter perspective and we're kind of seeing it from that angle. And then this is gonna be kind of back the head all that's gonna kinda coalesce down in that bottom area right here. Okay, I am going to do my ears. 
I feel like when you're when you're um, inking, this is an opportunity to kind of change your mind on things. Um, so I'm going to kind of move my um, other ear a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now, I always like, I don't care. Uh, this is just my preferable style, but I always like to make sure that I increase um, uh, the thickness of the outline of the character. I don't want to mess with inside the lines, um, but I always feel that like, if you're insecure about your lines in terms of like them being maybe not um, uh, clean enough or uh, uh, you don't like the style of them, um, kind of having a thicker outline just around the outside will immediately kind of fix um, a lot of those problems. Um, I forget that I'm on a Cintiq, and uh, when I'm on a Cintiq, you have the opportunity to erase um, uh, without uh, actually having to flip your, uh, ooh, I just lost my color, without having to flip your, uh, uh, eraser like in the iPad so I've been working on the iPad a lot uh, I just have to remember that I have this thick manage here with the CT um, I am just going to do a nice thick outline around here and I am done now what you want to do after you inked all that up of course this is going to be inked with probably a thicker marker probably the same marker maybe that you used uh, to blacken out this tongue um, now what you want to do is now you have this really beautiful ink drawing. You just basically want to erase all that pencil. So you just have this nice inked blue bear. Um, I'm actually, since we have time, um, I'm actually going to just maybe add a little color to this. So uh, my blue bear, of course, is going to be blue. Um, I, I have the paint color, but I officially, I don't think I've ever really looked up the PMS color, but I could. Um, I'm probably just gonna draw this nice line right here. And I probably could do, fill, oops, that's pretty bad. We don't want that to happen. Um, I probably can color this thing here. Not that good either. Oops. Okay. Okay. Let me color this thing here. Okay. I'm going to stick it up my marker. Not that thick. I'm, of course, going to go. this now I like to color on the layer above I don't want to ever I mean below I don't ever really want to mess with my line art but you are not a computer so you don't really have that luxury uh, but if you have some markers or something like that you'll be able to kind of paint this dude Now, especially with three-quarter perspective uh, character, you always have an opportunity to probably put a little bit of shading on there. The opportunity to kind of make your character look like it's a little bit more grounded in reality that has a little bit more perspective and depth to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and color my eyes. I'm not even gonna waste my time because I can just go grab some white and change that right there. Back to blue. A big brush. Okay, uh, I think that uh, I would definitely uh, get myself a nice pink tongue uh, because that's usually what I do for my characters. So let's change the color on that. All right, so, boom. Okay, that's it. I would love to see everybody's versions of my blue bear. Please send them to me on Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to see them. Thank you so much. We're gonna be posting stuff soon. Stay safe, everyone.